Hey folks, I'm going to do a real quick update on the last video I put out using hardware inside of Luna. Uh, since the new update, this is Luna version 1.0.8. And according to Universal Audio version 1.0.8, now has direct output delay compensation. All send and output routings to Apollo line and monitor outputs are now aligned, which is huge. So that's what we were kind of doing a workaround on last time by using the ATR-102 on the main bus. Now we don't need to do that. I'm going to show you real fast how to set that up. In this project we've been doing here, we have a, a, a track called RIM, which is really a, a snare uh, sound. It's like a microphone over a snare. Okay, and that has no reverb or anything on it right now. If I solo the drum, the drum sub with everything from the drums, Great, so I'm gonna set up a, a reverb return real fast to show you how to do that. On this rim track right here, right beside it, I'm gonna come up here to add audio, audio track. This needs to be stereo. I'm sending out to a lexicon reverb. I'm just gonna write lexicon return. We now have the lexicon return channel right next to it so you can kind of see what's gonna happen. Okay, so now on this send, I'm gonna click here. This uh, lexicon unit is a mono in unit only, but it has stereo out, so it is going out line 8 on the back of my Apollo, but I have to choose line 7 and 8, even though it's a mono. I'm going to set that at unity gain by hitting option click on the send knob, and now I have to tell Luna that the signal is coming back in actually on mic line 3 and 4 on the back of my Apollo. And it's actually using a mic, like an XLR cable. So I need to make sure that that's set up here correctly. And to do that, also, I need to be in ARM mode, accelerated real-time monitoring for this to work. Let me turn on a solo here. We won't hear anything yet, but as soon as I hit this input monitoring, we will be able to listen to the return on that reverb. It, it's a loud unit, so I'm going to pull it down a little bit. Okay, so now that I have that set up, everything is, is coming in properly. It's on the mic input. If I had set this to the instrument or line in, it would not be picking it up because it's coming in on an XLR or actually two XLR cables. And so to print that, I do the same thing as before. I have uh, input monitoring set. about where I want it and I can print that the same way I have done in the last video just by hitting record up here. I think I actually want to send some of the kick drum to that as well so okay I'm ready to roll on that return so I am going to hit record and play and print the track into Luna. Again, we don't have to use the workaround anymore with ATR-102 or a high latent plug-in on the main bus. I don't have anything on the main bus right now except a little notepad where I'm keeping some notes. And uh, everything is phase and time aligned correctly, which is fantastic. Okay, so some new videos are coming out this weekend where I'll try to finish up this mix. Again, I appreciate you guys watching. Please hit the like. Please hit the subscribe. More videos are coming very soon.